A couple extra things that I want to show you before you start your project or before you uh, use the tutorial. If you'll watch these at the end, I'm going to show you how to add your name, how to add this white box that has some opacity to it so you can still see the background. This is how you'll make the opacity. I'm going to show you that step also, how to drop it down to 70%. So let's start up. First thing that we're going to do when we get in here is we're going to go over and go down to the fill and go down to the rectangle tool and we're going to draw a rectangle that's going to be three inches wide three inches and you can change it if you can't get it exact you can go up there and type it in uh, if it's selected if you need to so you would just go right up to this area here and you would type that in if you need to do that once we do that, we'll go back to the select tool and we're going to go over and we're going to change the color of this. Right now, you notice the default color is this green and we can't find a white on here. So we're going to have to create white to do that. We're going to go over here to the swatches and we're going to say new color swatch. When you do that, you can now drag over and you want to make a zero of all four colors, cyan, magenta, yellow, and black, CMYK. And you can go up and unclick the name with color value and name this white. Just choose OK. And then it will make it white for you. Next thing that we're going to do is now that we have that, we're going to go in and make sure we have it lined up properly. You can move it around until you get that little purple line right there. That means that it's dead centered between the column guides. Now that we've done that, we're going to change the opacity. Now, in the tutorial, I accidentally named or dropped it down to 80%. You're really going to be better off to go to 70% whenever you do that, so you'll be able to see more of the object behind it. So what we've done is we've selected that white box, and we're dropping the opacity down, as you notice. So you'll make your 70%. Now we're going to hold down Control, or actually Option, or Alt, according to if you're Windows or Mac, Option or Alt, and drag. Also, if you hold down shift, it will keep it on the same plane. It'll keep it where you won't have to adjust it anymore. Now that we've done that, we've covered up the text that was there from the previous tutorial. So we need to, while it's selected, choose to send it back. We'll go to object. We'll send it all the way back, and then it put it behind this, this color picture background. So you'll select the color picture and send it to the back. Now you have the text box on the front where you can select it and you'll go over and you ch you'll choose your text tool and you will s select the text tool and come back over and select all the text and we're going to make it black. So now we select all the text. We're going to go up here to our colors and go down to black and just select black. Now we're good to go on that. Now we want to add, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add your name. So we're going to select the text tool over on the far left and click and drag and make you a text box about the size that you see this one here. Type in your name, not my name. Type in your name, select it, so you'll have to go in and select it. I did not select it, so that didn't work for me, but I needed to be sure that I selected the text. I did go back and actually reselect it. And now I'm going to make it, I'm going to, I need to select it now and go up and make it a size 24 point font. Let's also go in and just so you learn where the fonts are, let's go to Lithos Pro and change it to Lithos Pro Black like you did in the tutorial. So that looks pretty good so far. Do this with your name and that's how you're going to turn this into me to get the extra points for the exam. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to save this as a PDF. To do that, we're going to go to File, and we're going to choose to Export. So we're going to go back up here to Export. We're going to go down to the bottom to Format and make it a printable print PDF. So we're going to choose Adobe PDF Print, and you can choose to save it to your desktop, wherever you want. Just be sure to name it, and you can name this whatever you want as long as um, when, you know, you, when you submit it, as long as you have that name in there. 
You'll go up here just to see how it looks. We'll go up and we will choose View PDF after exporting right here. So that way you can go ahead and view it, and that's what's going to happen. Once I choose Export down here, in just a minute it's going to pop up a brand new document. And now you'll be able to see everything that's a PDF there that you could even um, use to email to somebody. It's a printable. It's a high-quality PDF.